Hi, I'm Russell from The Verge, and we are here with the Geonaut 360, and uh, Justin, product manager from Geonaut. It's an Oculus Rift compatible, it's sort of a th panoramic, What's the, what, how, what do you call this type of footage? Well, it's a 360 degree action camera. Yeah, but not just 360, because it could be 360 around, but then you can also look up, right? Exactly, so yeah. it's not just around, it's also above the, uh, the camera as well. Yeah. Um, you can't look down because it's on a post, but who wants to look at like the post of the thing? It's exactly, who wants to look here. at your feet? So. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, so I mean, this is one of the things when the Oculus Rift, when we first got a look at it, uh, one of the things I was really excited about was the idea of, you know, the demo they put you in a virtual environment, but footage is footage, right? So I, it, it seemed really exciting, the idea that you would look around and see something like an actual environment, which is what this lets you do, right? Exactly, I mean, that's one of the things that, is unique about this camera is if when you're starting to interact with the video it feels like you're there. Yeah. So walk me through what's actually in this thing. All right so the camera has three optics. Uh, each one's eight megapixels. It's got its own, each, each has its own sensor. The unique thing with this is everything's stitched together on the camera. Mm. So it's really easy to use. Uh, use no need to muck around with software afterwards for post-processing. Uh, it does video at 2K and photo at 4K. Oh, wow. So gives you a lot of, you know, great image quality. Yeah. Um, very simple to use, one button for start stop, and then you connect it to computer afterwards with a micro USB cable, download your files, and you're pretty much ready to go. Awesome. Getting it, how is getting it to the actual Oculus Rift? Because I know a lot of that sort of software behind it is sort of still being constructed, even on the Oculus side, right? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we wanted to ensure was ease of use. So mm. we've got um, software, at least, so you can look at it on your computer, on your Mac or your PC. Um, we've got an app, so you can inter you know, experience that on an iPad, iPhone, Android, tablet or device. Yeah. Um, we've got our own online platform, so it's like a YouTube channel, but for mm. 360 video, because at the moment you can't share 360 video very easily. Yeah. And then to get things onto Oculus at the moment, we're still working with Oculus to make that really smooth and simple. But uh, by the time this is shipping, we're hoping to have everything you know, seamlessly integrated. So it'll be easy for users just to hook their Oculus up and pop it on and look around. Yeah, totally. Um, there's mountains behind me. That's they're, I'm going to look in here and see them. Yeah, pop the Oculus yeah. on and you can uh, awesome. be just like you're in the French Alps. Yeah. Well, and so this is this is real. <laughs> excuse me. This is real footage that you guys got of the. Uh... Yeah, we got different scenes. Oh, okay. Now I'm moving. I'm looking at the. Ah, okay. Now I'm not in the French Alps. No, anymore. you're in Switzerland. We sent a camera up into the stratosphere. Oh, okay. Now, now, you're now on I'm on a boat. boat. Yep. Like the song. Wow. I'm right. I'm right on the water. Yep. And uh, now you're having a drink in. Uh... Oh yeah. The toasting right above me. I don't have any beer though. No. This is terrible. I'm just. Oh. Now I'm back in the mountains. Whoa. Bowling. This is like quantum leap, what's happening right now. <laughs> We're tripping you out now? Or? It's a little, yeah, it's a little, because I'm in one place and then I get pulled right back. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unrift here. Ah, wow. Yeah, it's a little bit, wow. a little bit manic, but. Yeah, uh, that was intense. That was like a Mountain Dew commercial. Um, that was sweet. Uh, awesome. Okay, so so if for the less manic version, and for people who don't have the Rift but want to check out these things, it's the iPad is what you were saying. Yeah, I mean, unless you have a Rift, yeah, the most immersive experience and the interactive experience is with some type of smart device, which you know your iPhone, your iPad, uh, a tablet, something like that. And okay. with that, you get to use gestures, um, or you can actually move the device. So here we've got a time lapse of San Francisco. Um, cool. With a normal camera, you'd just get this type of scene, which we can see here, you're just looking straight ahead, but actually, you can move around mm. and look at what was going on around you while you're waiting for that trolley. Yeah. Um, you know, we're going to jump on it in a second. Oh, God. It was, now, it was we're coming on it. right at us. For yeah, a exactly. But you can actually <laughs> you can pick this up, and if you move the device, oh, yeah. it moves with you. So when do you think you'll ship? We're actually taking um, like pre-orders at the moment, so customers oh, okay. can reserve a camera, um, and we're hoping to ship in the coming months. We, we haven't got an exact date, we're just oh, yeah, totally. fine-tuning final production. Yeah, I mean, you want to leave some mystery in. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> how, much, how much will one of you set you back? Uh, 4 dollars okay. in the US. That's not that much more than a GoPro. No, but it can do a hell of a lot more than a GoPro. Yeah, well, and so I mentioned the GoPro because it has that same mount, right? So anything that... Exactly. Yeah. Um, one of the things we decided to do was use a, a mounting system that would work with GoPro accessories, but we've also got our own accessories as well. Okay. So, but if you've invested in a GoPro and you 
you've bought hundreds of dollars worth of accessories. Yeah. You can just clip it on and you're ready, ready to go. Yeah, or you've got like a GoPro-ready drone, right? Exactly. That's what I thought. If I'm like, I'm gonna, you know. Yeah, I mean, we've had this up. We've mountains. had this up on the on the quadcopters, on the drones, and you get some pretty cool footage. So. Yeah, yeah. So what other? I mean, what do you think? I'm always curious about the first people to get it. Do you think it is? It's the GoPro market. It's the sort of I'm gonna strap this on while I'm taking my snowmobile through the I mean, Andes or something. I mean, we're a, a sports company. Okay. Yeah. Um, so obviously, we're targeting that market, but. There's a lot of interest from different areas, um, you know, security, military, police, you know, from a surveillance point of view. Uh, really? Yeah, I mean. That's interesting. Because um, why not, I mean, why not just have like seven different cameras then they don't connect at all? No, right? of course. All I care about is like the, the like raw information. No, but it's ease of use as well. Hmm. And it's also the size, so. Um, yeah, well, and that's, you know, defense, that's a hell of a markup, that's good. Yeah. Right? Well, and I mean, political stuff, like, in, you know, important events, right? Like if you could be on stage at the inauguration or you can be on, you know, you can be there when this big important speech is happening, right? Like just the sort of C-SPAN level of, you know, you can now, we can make it, we can put this little post up, you know, or, or you know, we were carrying around on a backpack. Yep. Um, there's a helmet mount too. Helmet right? mount, there's lots yeah. of mounts that we've got, but. Yeah, and, and then suddenly anyone who wants to plug into the stream or watch it after the fact, I mean, it's, it's all after the fact now, um, can, plug in and feel like feel like they're there. Exactly. So this is the other thing. I tip my hand a little bit, but the dream would be live, right? That of would be awesome. Of course, and it's probably the number one question we get asked uh, yeah. at the moment is, can I do live streaming on this? Um, everything's possible. It's We want to get this yeah. one to market, yeah. and we're obviously dream... looking at what's coming in the future and you know how you can make that nice and easy and, and get a good enough quali image quality because yeah. when you're streaming as well, you've got to think that oh, yeah. you're pushing a lot of information. And you were saying at some point, again, we're dreaming big, you were thinking directional audio might be yeah, future I mean, models? Yeah, I mean, of course. It's, I mean, okay, we've been talking about the Oculus. Yeah. You pop that on, you yeah. start looking around, but if you could put on surround sound at the same time, you start, yeah, why not? you start to hear things and you, you hear a noise on your left. And, it helps you, ah, there's something happening. I move to my left, it gets louder and things like that. So yeah. we're also dreaming big and you know, we see this as the future of the way in which you interact with video. And yeah, absolutely. One cool thing for the audience, if they want to play around with these videos, yeah. they can actually download the app. We've got all the videos that we've been shooting uh, up online. Okay, so it's right. pl Play Geonaut, just P-L-A-Y-G-E-O-N-A-U-T-E, all one word. Okay. Download it and then you can start to and experience that world. Yeah. yeah, and you took it to cool places. Well, like so somebody, some entertainment somebody that's never been to San Francisco. Yeah. Well, I was going to say the Alps and Tahiti and well, all the wonderful, glamorous. Things. Yeah, San Francisco is cool, but I mean, <laughs> let's no, be real here. We've got. You got to sell it. Exactly. Gotta, yeah. So someone that's ever been to the French Alps. Exactly. Yeah. See exactly. that? Now you're now you're getting me. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming by. This is fantastic. Russell, my pleasure. Yeah. Cheers.